Hi there, welcome to the Kenny Veach M Cave Mystery. Today I wanted to focus on in an interesting video recommended to me by a viewer, dates back over a year ago, claiming that he had found the entrance to the M Cave. And we're not referring to Kenny Veach either. That somebody in the background found the location of the true M Cave, the location of it, and reached out to some YouTuber online. Now, I want to give you my perspective of the situation and my review of that video to an extent, but also add on to a critical point that was mentioned though early, later on into the video, which the viewer highlighted as the main significance of the video in general. And that's to do with the light shadows casted, how the cave could be revealed at the right place at the right time. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video out of your own interest to fully understand this and see, as example, an M-shaped cave which only one hiker ever found and saw and everybody else that has come and gone there missed out on it, okay? It puts into perspective, be sure to stick around. Welcome to those that are currently here in this live premiere. Share your thoughts, opinions in the live chat box, right-hand side of the screen. And anyone, everyone, if you wanna share you know, with me your thoughts of what you think about the situation and what's been talked about previously by some bigger YouTube channel and what they've claimed and the story they've told. Leave all your thoughts down below under this video. You'll also find a pinned comment by me with some additional links if you want to check them out when you get time. And if you do want to catch up on the last video that I did or whenever, maybe even the playlist of the Kenny Veach case so you're better informed and updated on what's happened, what's previously been documented, well, top right corner of the screen where the eye symbol is, you click on that, you'll be able to find it, okay? So the way we're gonna go about things today, I wanna give maybe a brief backstory as to what's happened, the video itself, my thoughts on it, so you understand, and then we can transition on to the critical discussion of the timing, the place, the shadows, the lighting, which could reveal the cave at times, right? So I believe the channel called Unsolved Mysteries, I think, over a million subscribers. You look at the comments, not exactly too positive. Some people are calling it clickbait. Others are saying it hasn't been found the cave. Short story, has the true M cave been found yet? Arguably, no. There are claims there in the background that a supposed covered up cave could well be the true M cave, considering Kenny Veach did point it out, saying, yeah, the M cave in a place just like here. Not right here, but like here. Was Kenny dropping a clue or hint? Never know. Um, but as for like Sean Horlacher that investigated, discovered it when he did his hike out there 2019, up close with it and then later S.B. Vega's adventures in 23, 24, went up there, okay? And other people have gone past since, like Aqua Chigger in 2022, but completely ignored it, which was disappointing. But no one has truly explored or investigated it because one, it's hard work, heavy rocks in the middle of nowhere, you gotta cover quite a lot of distance there and back. It takes time and effort. You probably need a couple of people and a range of equipment for efficiency, right? So you don't tie it out too quickly. Because it's a chore, it's a task doing the hike in the first place. By moving heavy boulders and rocks, well, that really does push it to the extreme, depending on what condition you're in yourself. So that's why people haven't done it, really. As well, the laws, you're not allowed to take things away from that desert, you know, artifacts, items from the past. You can't disturb rocks, you're supposed to leave it as it is natural, right? But if in a situation like this it's unnatural and man-made, what does that mean for the general public? Can they look into it? Sean Hall, like, had tried contacting Park Ranger, the DNWR, about it, and they had no clue about it. Are they playing silent, or do they not want any part either because they could get in trouble by the higher-ups? You never know. So that is still a bit of a mystery. So you can still say the true M cave remains a mystery out there. There have been M shaped caves along the way. Now, this video that was talking about the entrance, are they just claiming another M shaped cave has been found or the real one? Well, the way it was narrated by, I think, a British English individual from the accent, narrating a story on behalf of somebody who the YouTuber refers to as he and they. 
Now at first, the way the story was being told, I thought, oh, are we setting this up for Kenny Veach? That Kenny Veach went out into the desert, found the entrance. But because of the way it was being worded and dragged on, saying that he reached out and informed about the location, whilst the narration was going, a photo was shown on screen, satellite imagery saying this is the spot that the person recommended and said, this is it, this is the M cave. And there was an outline as well, okay. Problem was, it was bird's eye view looking straight down at the ground. And as we know, that doesn't quite make sense with the description of Kenny Veach, etc. More about that later. I will show you the photos shortly for context so I can analyse and narrate over them. So, whilst talking about finding the entrance, well, what about the contents within? What's truly within? That wasn't really mentioned. So, a person has claimed to have found the true entrance, and I think it was referenced through Google Earth, but the person found it through that. Um, at least from my knowledge and my coverage on the case, because I've done quite a lot, and especially on Google Earth, I've not seen really that many people reach out and say, this is the entrance, this is it. I've had a couple of people here and there recommended videos, ideas saying, hey, have you seen this? This could be the entrance, or it looks like an M-shaped cave. And that was about it. So I'm interested as to know who the source is of this YouTuber, as the YouTuber refers to him as he and they. No name given, anonymous, a mystery within itself, or is it simply made up? They're just telling a story. But yeah, there may be a cave and there may be a missing person, but the bit that has been made up is someone reaching out with information. You, you never know, right? I can understand the anonymity because of respecting one's privacy. They might just want that, so that's why it went the way it did. The reason why I came to that idea of, right, this is a bit weird, because then started introducing Kenny Veach later on into the video, which, to be honest, should have been mentioned at the start, because Kenny Veach was the one to put eyes on the area, on the map, the area, Joe May Canyon. He put it on the map. More people learn about Joe May Canyon Sheep Range because of Kenny than anyone else beforehand, at least from what I'm aware of. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, there's been mining out there. You know, there's been, in the past, it's got its history, going back to ancient times, whatever, right? But in terms of the area and what's supposedly known in the place, the M Cave, that's Kenny, because Kenny also found the M Cave because no one else mentioned it before him. It'd be interesting though, if there was anyone before Kenny Veach that referenced an M-shaped cave back there. Because I know we've seen the research in the past about, in the, was it the 60s or 70s, a cord research group, whoever they are, came across Cave M, supposedly out there. Was it Deadman Canyon or Wagon Canyon? That's its own story. Whether it's true or false, I've done a video of it in the past. You can check it out for reference points there. Okay, they were ordered out by military, the commander of Nellis Air Force Base or so. Okay, don't know if anyone remembers that, but if you want to have a look back, you can, you're welcome to. But that aside, talking about Kenny Veach in this YouTube video, obviously not enough research done, but at the same time, the video was uploaded over one year ago, but still, even before that, I did my coverage, but it's to be expected. Big YouTube channels, for the most part of it, won't include all the research. It's disappointing, but it is what it is. Though, what it did add on was the interesting discussion of could it be the light, such as when referring to the satellite imagery, as he and they mentioned, that it showed up at the right time. Satellite imagery, depending when it's taken, the time of the month, the time of the year, time of the season, the lighting on the day, is it dark and cloudy, is it very bright, sunshine, is there enough shadows casted, you got to take that into perspective, and those things do show and are a factor for visibility, even on street view and satellite imagery from Google Earth, Google Maps, etc. right? It can make things harder to see, or it can make it very clear. It could even reveal and highlight points what you normally wouldn't come across, depending on the weather at the time, both boots on ground and looking on screen. And I think that's what transitions into that discussion from the satellite imagery. You saw like the, the mountainous area and the outline as it was visible, and maybe there was a ridge line elsewhere. What we'll do now, whilst talking on, I'll show you the photos, 
the ones that were used from the YouTuber's video and the entrance point. I'll give you my thoughts about that, debunk it too. And then contrast and put into true perspective a true M-shaped cave that was found by only one hiker and everybody else has missed it over time. That will really put things into perspective. Let's head on over to the photos right now and begin analysing. So here it is on screen. Hopefully you can see it. It's around the midsection when looking down, okay? So you imagine that as mountains, mountain tops. Yeah, if you go to 3D imagery, flip the screen, you'd be looking at the side of it. But right now we're looking right down at it on top of the peaks. And that's what the biggest problem is when it comes to talking about the entrance of the M cave, okay? But you can definitely see the shadows casted, hence why it's darker in certain areas and spots. Now, unfortunately, no coordinates were given, which is a shame, right? Maybe we could find it eventually. I don't know to anyone if this stands out to you, if you can pinpoint the location as to where it could be for clues and hints. Um, but... As for that video where it was narrating over it, it just really showed this image, maybe a couple of us zooming in and out. It didn't really give too much perspective context for the true location, just claiming that he and they had found the location entrance to the M cave, but didn't give any coordinates. It's not exactly useful, is it? Which could make you believe it's a load of BS, this. But there are still some valid discussions to put in perspective. If you can't quite see it on screen, they basically highlighted it themselves, how it goes up, down, up, down, like a capital M. And whilst that's true, the description Kenny Veach gave when talking in his video, he said it was on the side of a mountain, which could either mean on the side of a mountain high up or low down on the base ground. Now, Kenny Veach did say on ground level in his hike, but earlier on, he didn't mention that. So he kind of contradicted himself. So it's like give and take when he's describing the cave. It's either, you know, high up or low down, but it's most definitely on the side of a mountain. Not on the peak, not up top, but on the side of a mountain, on the side of a canyon wall, okay? That's what one is looking out for and what hikers have done. Now, I don't know if we've got something what we can put in comparison. I'll just move on over to the other slide because there is another M symbol that was found on satellite imagery, and there was a bit of confusion at the time. So what you're looking at on screen right now is the example which is facing south on the Kenny Beach hike loop route. So facing south, this is already over Wild Horse Pass, so we're looking back that way. We're looking towards the mineshaft, which is further back south a Jerme Canyon, okay? So we're looking the reverse way around when it came to Kenny Beach when he did his hike. I wanted to show you this because when you do look at the center of the screen, now granted maybe on this imagery with it being lighter, it doesn't show as well, but at least from 2019 satellite imagery, it was a lot darker the ground, right? So it made the lighter parts stand out more. So it was clearer to see. But if you look at it quick, you can make out the capital M or the shape of an M if you look close enough. You can zoom on in. So you got like that white radius almost. And then in the middle, you got almost like an M symbol, right? At first glance, people back then thought this was the M cave or that it was an M cave symbol marker hinting at the true location. That some people were even going to the lengths of hey, I wonder if it's vertical, the actual entrance to the cave, you got to descend on in. Now, upon further examination and actual boots on ground investigators going out there, people did debunk it and basically say it was either an agave burn pit or sagebrush vegetation. That's all it was. Nothing strange, nothing mysterious, nothing to do with the M cave. OK, it just looks like it has something to do with the M cave when you're looking at satellite imagery. And as I said, this is a bird's eye view looking straight down at the ground. OK, and when we look back at this photo here or the unmarked one, we're looking straight down at the ground bird's eye. OK, so this is why, at least from my perspective, as it's claiming the the entrance to the M cave has been found, I would say no, it's not possible. 
what you may be looking at is the ridge line on top of the mountains, the peaks, how it, you know, goes in and out as the rocks, because it's not like a straight wall, is it? It can move about and the gradients go up and down and it can go in and out when you're looking down at it, hence this. This is like a ridge line. That's why the shadows are casted over, right? Because there's a bit of an overhang. So when the, the sun's out and depending on the angle of it, the shadows will be casted from the light and the, the, the cracks and the gaps and the overhangs, which cast a shadow, which can create darkness and make it harder to see things. It kind of camouflages it in a way. OK, there are times where you may see pure blackness and that's because it's an entrance to a caveway on the side of a mountain or there's cracks and there's gaps in the side of rocks. OK, when you're looking at mine shafts, um, at least the Kenny Veach one, that's like a brown little marker. That's very hard to make out if you didn't know the true coordinates or you weren't familiar with the place. So there's a few exceptions. OK, but the bigger an entrance hole is, the more clear it will show up on satellite and the darker it will appear. What we see on screen is not a cave and it's not like a hole in the ground. It's just uh, the ridge line and the shadows casted, as you can see. Now, we would be able to put into better perspective if we were able to flip the image, but unfortunately, this is just a screenshot from the video, so it's hard to do. But if we look at other areas, for example, down here, you can see a few dark spots, but once again, you can see a ridge line and an overhang. That's all it is, okay? Then you can make it out. So as long as you know that this is bird's eye view and you're looking straight down at the top of peaks, you're not looking at the side of the rock walls, which does make it harder, okay? So as Kenny Veach described, it's on the side of like a mountain, right? This is not on the side of a mountain. If this was the true entrance, it's on top. And in terms of the scale of it, whilst that line and the shape of the M might not seem that big, that does cover quite a bit of area and width because we're looking at mountain tops and they can look small on satellite imagery right it underestimates the value size behind it that's why you've got to take things into precaution when you do go out there hiking because it can end up being harder than what it seems online and on screen digitally speaking so you've got to give and take there right so as small as that may seem, in real life, it's much greater in size. Just like how we were talking about, if we was to see a body on satellite imagery, considering that a person is quite small, almost like an ant, when it comes to looking down at such a great height from satellite, right? It's likely not going to be a human, okay? You look at certain rocks, you look at certain vehicles, they can look small, can't they? But as we know in real life, a vehicle is obviously still bigger in size than a person. So if a person's going to show up on satellite imagery, right, of a fair size, you think, oh, it's a giant or it's just something else, just not a human, right? So you've got to take in the scale of it. If this really was the entrance to the M cave, besides it not adding up to the characteristics, it, it would suggest that this is a massive opening a massive m cave and obviously if it was that big surely people flying by over if that's possible and if not surely people hiking in the area would see it for sure if it's on the mountains on top surely now you could argue and say well if it's a vertical entrance as hard as it may be to believe considering kenny veach never described it like that but if if the M cave was some kind of vertical entrance like a mine shaft, is that why no one has found it? Because most people have been hiking on lower ground. You could put that argument across. But someone like J. Chuck Vlogs, who has gone up ravines, gone up heights, and maybe some of the hikers have too, such as near Pitcher Canyon area with SB Vegas Adventures, even Scott Natal, a bit more north. They've gone up some of the peaks and some of the mountains to get a vantage point to look around, get views. Even J. Chuck Vlogs went up to about Sheep Peak, one of the highest points in the area. 
and even Hayford Peak, but that's further on and not quite related to the case. Nevertheless, with with uh, Jay Chuck getting the higher ground, he got a better view of the area. So if it just so happened that within the area, if this is where it was, that there was an entranceway and it was a vertical one, then surely Jay Chuck would have seen it himself. But he didn't because likely it doesn't exist. So we're looking at what? A horizontal entrance. You go into it. Similar to a mine. Not a mine shaft, but a mine you walk on into. You don't um, repel down it, okay? Because Kenny Veach described it himself. He walked up to the entranceway and he got a little bit closer to it and went only so far in. He walked into it. He didn't repel down. He didn't climb down or climb up. He walked in. So that would suggest, yes, it is on the side of a mountain. Even though this YouTube channel, on behalf of this he and they claiming to find the entrance, yeah, it doesn't quite align, does it, with the original story. So this is drifting away from the supposed truth. So I don't think this does us any favours. But I just wanted to put it into perspective like what we see on here. Looks can be deceiving. The scale and size of objects can be very deceiving when you look at it on satellite, then compare it to real life, okay? Now, the next image, what we do have is a suspected M cave close-up because it's shallow. It looks like it's been filled in or rocks have collapsed. It could have gone in deeper, but it no longer does. The shape of it does check out as an M, depending what angle you look at it. This cave is only visible at a certain time of the day, certain weather that's needed to shine light on the area so there's not like a casted shadows covering it, masking it. That can be put into perspective because Jeff Clark was the one to have found this in the past. 2016, 2017, correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff Clark. There might even be a photo here which gives the date. But just roughly speaking, it's quite some time ago. The only other person besides Jeff Clark out there, Sean Horlacher. Okay? So, in the early days, no one found this cave because not many people were looking. But as time went on and more people came and gone, they walked past this. And you know why? One, because of the shadows, the camouflage, the dark areas. It wasn't possible to see at certain times, on certain days. Jeff Clark got lucky when he went out there. It stood out clearer to him, right? Second factor, yeah, it's on the side of a mountain rock wall, but it's higher up in elevation. Hence why people would probably avoid this if they did see it, because they would think, well, it doesn't match the true description. But as Kenny Veach said, it's on the side of a mountain, High up, low down, could mean either, right? You can still walk up to it, you just have to climb a bit. But it did stand out for Jeff Clark at the time, hence why he looked at it and kind of investigated the area, okay? So, considering no one else has found it and people have walked past it and no one else has really investigated it, or at least at the time, for a long period, neglected it, you might be interested as to the location, you know, to put things into perspective, I can provide that to you very shortly. Um, but yeah, looking up close to it, it doesn't go that deep. But there's always that possibility at one point in the past, it could have been deeper, right? It is within the area as where Kenny Veach was hiking. And it's not far from when Kenny Veach said, oh, in an area just like here. So it could be familiar with Kenny Veach, right? Moving on to this next slide, this is Google Earth satellite imagery. What we're looking at here is Picture Canyon, okay, or the beginning of it, side of it, yeah. There's the side, somewhere in that area, because I did a video. What we can do, we'll look at the updated satellite imagery, just to put into further perspective, because what you see here is darkness and shadows casted, hence it's a lot harder to see things, right? So roughly in this area, higher up on the mountains on the side of the rock walls of the canyon, approaching Pitcher Canyon, what you see here is what you see roughly in that area there. 
But it's not exactly comparable, even though it's the same location, roughly speaking, because of the shadows casted. And if it's like that for most people that go out there, they're not going to see it. So I can understand why that conversation was brought in. Not that example, I provided it, but the conversation about light, contrast, shadows, how it's casted, how if you get the right moment, satellite or boots on ground, the entranceway will be revealed, as example mentioned in this YouTuber's video, right? I don't agree with this on screen, okay? And I don't believe it is the entrance. I think it is BS, okay? Just my opinion. This is more genuine because it's in real life. It's a photo taken, something other hikers have not explored, right? Roughly in the area of Kenny Beach hiking. Now, we've got some real-time photos as well. The back end slash start of Picture Canyon. So, correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff Clark, you're going up Picture Canyon. So, whilst Kenny Beach did the hike loop route and went down Picture Canyon, and the same with Sean Horlacher, you went up it which I assume 2016, 2017, around that time, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just doing this raw, okay? But you've got Pitcher Canyon, roughly the area, and I believe it's over that way where the cave is. I could be wrong, there is a zoomed-in photo. Yeah, it is the one, it is the one. So you can see how small it is. Okay, because of the lighting at the time and the way the sun is, yeah, the shadow's casted down here, but higher up, there's no shadows. But you can make out the darkness within as like a hole, a cave entrance. Now, looking at it from here, it might not look like an M shape, okay? But I guess the closer you get, it is a bit more prominent, right? I think the other thing to take in mind, because it depends which way you come out or enter Picture Canyon, Okay? If you're going up Joe May Canyon over Wild Horse Pass, you're heading north. Then you turn round and then go down Pitcher Canyon. You're kind of going, uh, what is it, west, okay? Now, if Jeff Clark was going up Pitcher Canyon, um, you know, the opposite of what Kenny and Sean did when going down it, if you're going up it, as um, Jeff Clark supposedly did, you'd be going east, Okay, so because you're going to be seeing this cave entrance, if you're going up Pitcher Canyon heading east, if you are coming down it going west, where well, you're not going to see it because it's on that side, you would have to turn around, you'd have to look back at the mountains as you're passing by. It's not literally on the side as you're walking by it, it's at a diagonal angle, okay? So if you're looking at this heading up Pitcher Canyon, you're going east. But in terms of the direction it's at, um, it's like southeast of Pitcher Canyon. It's like at a diagonal. That's why it's a little bit awkward. So for all the other hikers that have come down Pitcher Canyon, they're not going to see it over in that direction because they're going away from it. Jeff Clark, I guess heading towards it, right? So it all comes down to which direction you're going in. Are you walking towards it or, or are you walking away from it? Majority of hikers walked away from it so they wouldn't see it by the time they pass on down Pitcher Canyon because as well, people are focused on hiking down and being safe, okay? If they did turn around or look about, they'd get distracted. They want to focus on one thing at a time. And on top... As you see with the shadows in the bottom right corner, if they were higher up and casted from the, the ridge lines and the overhang bits and rocks, you probably wouldn't see that entrance way. So with in this situation of being able to see it and even zoomed on in slightly, you can make it out. And to be honest, at a slight angle, it does go up. It does go down, up and down like a capital M. Okay, And then in the middle, it's dark. So it's going in, as I said. Shallow, but not always. Suspected M cave, at least at the time. And the reason why this holds a level of value and interest is because no one else has really explored it because no one's had the opportunity or been able to see it, okay? So, what we need to put into perspective, okay? When you've got the cave like this, 
Shapes like an M on the side of a mountain. Granted, higher up, but it's still on the side. Shapes like an M. A decent size, to be honest. It does fit most of Kenny Veach's descriptions one way or another. Whilst many hikers, or let's say a fair few hikers, have been out there over time, they've come to the conclusion, or they've at least said, we've searched, we've searched, there is no M cave in the area. There is no spelunking in the area, as Kenny Veach claimed, right? The counter-argument at the time was, well, there could be a cover-up, you know, for example, the one Sean Horlacher looked at. As example, on screen, if you're going down Pitcher Canyon just before you go down it on the right-hand side of the rock walls, before that and before the Skull Canyon, as described by S.B. Vegas, you'd see this cave or supposed cave. It does appear to be covered up. There are people in the background where I said this is natural rock geology. It is what it is. But to add in that argument of if people have gone there and they've not found the cave Kenny Veach described in the past and what he found, is there a small chance that in between Kenny coming across it then talking about it online, it was filled in. So when Kenny went back out there to try and record it as proof... This was the example of a fill-in, a cover-up. Hence why Kenny said, oh yeah, a place just like here. Maybe he did mean this was the spot. But because it looked different and the environment was possibly altered with and filled in, it kind of confused him, right? Maybe he did remember the spot because this is where he came across the cave the first time round. But because it's now covered up, it's harder to relate to. So there's certain characteristics which remind you, but it looks different. So you doubt yourself. You walk past it. You don't think about it again. That was the argument. And even if it wasn't this particular area, it could be another location where the supposed M cave was. It was filled in. Military. Government. They heard about Kenny talking about it online publicly. They didn't want other people exploring it because it could reveal sensitive information and deep-rooted secrets. So someone had to fill it in. I mean, it would make sense because it was publicised, it was talked about online, it did gain popularity and traction, right? Kind of like Storm Area 51. The moment it becomes a bit of a bandwagon or hype, it could be a form of danger or threat towards someone out there. At least the military may see it as a threat to them but they don't want things being revealed or unearthed, so they've got to take action in any way possible, right? So that was the argument at the time. But what if there was an additional counterpoint which would explain and reveal why the true M cave hasn't been found yet? Whether this is the true M cave or just an example, one thing this definitely is, as a fact, you need to be in the right place at the right time, facing the right direction, with the right sunlight, the right time of the, the year, month and season, in order to be able to see things clearly, in order for things to be revealed, when other times could be concealed by shadows, by an overcast, by mist, if it was higher up in the mountains and peaks. You know, stuff like that. Considering only Jeff Clark saw this at the time and for a period was the only one and I think it still runs to this day because I've not seen any one else or to the extent as what Jeff Clark did it really puts him to perspective so if a cave like this can be missed by other hikers who claim they've searched all the caves in the area well it goes to show that they didn't check all of them did they for example this so if they didn't check this one due to the shadows and it being concealed and it being higher up, how many other M-shaped caves are truly out there which need to be searched at the right time, the right place, and for the right sunlight and shine to, you know, show it in person? It does make you think. So yeah, this was a viewer requested video. I just wanted to catch up on it before I forgot. Hopefully you found it interesting of some value and worth. I do think the latter part of the discussion about the concealment, the shadows and the lighting is a very important part as to why a cave could appear and then at another time disappear, right? 
Feel free to like and share this video so more people hear about it and this debunking of that weirdly constructed video by that channel out there from over a year ago. We'll see what happens next or what needs to be covered next. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Good night for now.